Hi everyone for tonight's nightcap and review. I'm having a water and tonight I'll be discussing not one, not two, but three novellas by Becca D. Killer. I received all three as arcs, but of course I'm giving my honest opinion. Now tonight's format's going to be a little different because these are short, short, I think the mo all of them are like 60 page novellas. Uh, as she would say, they're all smut, no plot. So there's not a lot of details I can go into. So when I post the tropes and triggers, they're kind of going to be on the same uh, thing for you to see. So the first one up is going to be Lick Me Lucifer. These are the tropes and the content warnings and this is a super quick, like I said, spicy read. I'm giving it four stars. And it's about a little demon who wants to have a one night stand with Lucifer, but he has his own plans for the little demon. And hot. I love it. The next one is going to be Depraved Desires and the tropes and triggers. This is a taboo one. They are ghosts, but you can see on there why it's a... Um, it's taboo and it was intense this is straight smut and it yeah the title fits again four stars and i have nothing else to say it's about um uh two ghost siblings that are out for revenge against their father but they have some business they want to handle with each other first so yeah it was hot and spicy and make sure you're okay with the taboo. It's okay if you're not. Now the third and final one um, is Love Spells Go Wrong. Here, you know, the tropes and content warnings. And this was a super sweet book about a cute, lovable, sweet witch whose spells never seem to go quite right. And this one has some interesting results and I loved it. It was super sweet. It was all four stars. This one was more of a sweet one. The last one was depraved and the one before that was just hot now all three of these i'm gonna keep posting them um when i get them in lump sums because actually what she uh becca is doing is that these three are available on her personal website so you can go to her page i'll link her of course below and you can go to her page and you can buy them off of her website but she is planning to make a collection of i think it was something in the 40 range of stories like this that she is going to bind into an omnibus and i think that might be out next year i don't have the dates but i am super excited and i know that's going to be a super hot book and I am really wondering what she's going to put out next because, again, we've had demons, we've had ghost siblings, we had a witch and a gnome. <laughs> what else is she going to come up with these next 43 books? I don't know, but they're all sounding super hot and spicy. Like I said, if you want to read these as they come out, they are available on her website where you can purchase them. That is the only place you can get them. And later down the line, once she has all these stories available, she will be binding them. Uh, all three are currently available and... I enjoyed them. I hope you do too, especially if you look for a quick spicy read. I hope everyone has a good night and happy readings.